Hello friends, welcome to Web Motley. Today we are going to learn how to hide running application, close or quit running application, minimize running application, or most important, taking screenshots quickly with Mac shortcut keys using keyboard. Do you remember this keyboard where I have marked command key and option key? We are going to use these keys today. So command plus H is used to hide the window of the front app. This is the most used command because when you are working on many apps, it is frequently required to hide the apps. Now, what if you want to hide all the other apps except the one you are working on? Then you have to do option plus command plus H. In this case, you will hide all the other apps except the one you are working on which is in front. One more command is command plus M which will minimize the window to the dock. Now you wonder that what is the difference between minimizing and hiding? Then there is a difference. I will explain this in action. Like I am opening notes. Then I will press command plus M. So it park aside to the dock. Now I will press command plus tab and try to open notes. It's not opening. See? Now, again, I will open this and hide it using command plus H. Now, I will again command plus tab and try to open. So, this opened up. Now, there are another set of commands which include W. Command plus W closes the front window which you are working on. If you do option plus command plus W, then that will close all the windows of the app selected. When you do command plus W or option plus command plus W, it will close the window. If you want to quit the app, then you have to use command plus Q to quit the app. Let's see these all commands in action. Remember that by using all these commands, you can't quit or force quit the finder. But yes, you can relaunch it if it's really giving you trouble. Here comes the best part, taking a screenshot quickly and allow editing before saving. When you work on laptop, this is the most required thing you should know that you can do quickly with the shortcut keys. For taking screenshots, you need to remember two keys, shift, command, and three numbers, three, four, and five. So when you do shift plus command plus three, you take screenshot of entire screen of the Mac. If you want to take the screenshot for some selected portion of the screen, then do shift plus command plus four. Sometimes we want to take the screenshot of current window we are working on without selecting any portion of the screen. So the entire window will be captured using shift plus command plus four plus space. Taking screenshot of current window or menu option using shift plus command plus four plus space can be confusing. So let's see it in, in action. As I told you that using shift plus command plus three, you can capture the entire screen of your Mac and it will show as a thumbnail here. Double click on it. And actually, you can crop it. You can add the text to it. You can draw something. And it is really a very useful tool. You can also connect it using your iPhone. Here, you are clicking on this button. Now, if you want to revert all the changes, click on the revert button. When you click on done, then this will be saved to your desktop. If you want to delete it, then you can also delete it using delete button. Let's save it. And it will be saved in your desktop. To capture a portion of the screen, you need to press command plus shift plus four 
and this cross hair cursor will appear and you need to click somewhere and drag this cursor and release to take the screenshot and you can all add it this screenshot using done you can save it to desktop to explain the next command i have opened two windows this is the calculator this is the calendar so when i press shift command 4 and space then this icon cursor icon having this camera will appear and wherever you go to indicate it it will capture that screen for example if i want to take the screenshot of this calendar then i click and you can see even if it was hidden behind the calculator the entire window was captured perfectly so it is really very really useful command save it to desktop for custom settings of screenshots taken with the help of keyboard shortcuts we can use screenshot toolbar which can be open using shift plus command plus 5 and it will look like this we can do a lot of customization with this toolbar for example you can decide where your screenshot will be saved you can also decide if you want to see the preview before saving the screenshot or setting the timer using options like this you can decide where to save the screenshots want to set the timer or other options you can explore the other options here we are done. We have learned few shortcuts today and in my next video I will share more. Thanks for watching Web Motley.